what's up guys welcome back to another transfer tuesday video apparently i do not do these videos on tuesdays anymore because you're seeing this on a thursday again so welcome back to another transfer thursday video i'm katie for those of you who are new here and in these videos i just like to tell you guys about all of the transfers that i have made within the last week towards our financial goals so we are working on a few different financial goals right now we're working on debt payoff, savings goals, and investing goals. So I do have several transfers to share with you this week, and I'm pretty excited to share them. The first one was just our Highlander payment. So we made the minimum payment on our Highlander, which was $753. So that's not very exciting just to make the minimum payments, but I always say this, that sometimes if the only thing you can do is to make a minimum payment, then you are still making progress because you are still gonna watch your balances go down. So I still consider that a win and progress towards our financial goals. The next transfer that we made this week was to Mark's retirement account. So he has a 403B with his employer and he did get paid last week. So every time he gets paid, there's an automatic contribution made to that 403B account. And this time he transferred $768, which is amazing. I always love to see him putting money into that account because it's just gonna help us so much when we retire in the future. The next transfer that we made was to our emergency fund. So you guys know if you've been around here for a while that we did have to use a little bit of our emergency fund last month in July for some housing repairs. And we're trying to replace as much of that money as we can as soon as possible. So we had to use $2,000. Back in July, we were able to replace $896. So this month in August, we're trying to replace the rest of that money. So this week, I was able to replace $500. So we're still not fully replenished yet, but that is okay. We are getting there, and $500 is a good chunk. It's almost half of the rest of the money that we needed to put in. So that feels really good. The next transfer that we made this week was to Fedloan 5. So this is the debt that we are currently trying to pay off. We're trying to put as much of our extra income as we can to Fedloan 5. And I really want to get this loan paid off this year. So this is just one of my husband's student loans. And we were able to pay $500 towards it this week. So I'm planning on putting a lot more towards it this month because we have a three paycheck month. But I can't put everything that I budgeted for the month all at once because we haven't received all of our paychecks yet. So $500 is a great start. Now, the last transfer that we made this week was to our emergency fund as well. So this was $35 to our emergency fund from money that we made from our high yield savings account. So on the first of every month, we get a payment for the previous month's interest that we earned on the high yield savings account. This month, it was only $35, which is much less than we have been earning. And that's just because we had to take money out of our account in the month of July. So we took money out for school. We had to pay our kids school tuition, which was like over half of the amount that we had in our high yield savings account. And then we also had to use some of our emergency fund money as well. So unfortunately that means we earned less in our high yield savings account, but hopefully we'll be able to build that up over time and start earning more in there again. And that money we just used for our emergency fund. So it wasn't technically a transfer. We just left it in that account, but I added it to our emergency fund total. So 35 extra dollars added to our emergency fund. And that's just for money that we had sitting in our account anyway, which is really cool. So those are all of my transfers for this week. Now I want to share transfers from my subscribers. So every time I share these videos, I try to share as many of your transfers as I can as well. So if you're watching this video today and you would like to share one of your transfers that you've made towards your financial goals with me, let me know in the comments down below and I will share as many as I can in next week's Transfer Tuesday or Transfer Thursday or Transfer whatever day that I decide to do it video. So the first transfer I want to share with you is from Sarah. So Sarah had an exciting transfer. She was able to pay off the last $5,000 that she owed on her student loans. She said she um, scrounged around in all of her accounts and um, gathered as much money as she could to get this paid off. So that is huge. Congratulations, Sarah. I'm so happy for you. I cannot wait till we are there as well. But I hope you took some time to celebrate because that is quite the accomplishment. 
Next, we have Plantation 1984, who had an exciting debt payoff transfer as well. So they paid off the last $3,400 that they owed on their Durango loan, which is amazing. They said they are now consumer debt free, which is quite the accomplishment. That is an amazing thing to be able to say. So again, I hope you took some time to celebrate because that's not something that many people can say. So huge congratulations. Next, we have Mel from Mel's Paper Makes. Um, I will have her linked down in the comments below. She has her own YouTube channel. She is only 24 years old, but she is always so um, impressive to watch. I love watching her videos because she has her shiz together. Like she is on top of her finances and it's really cool to see a 24 year old um, being so in tune with their finances and having a plan and saving, investing, paying off debt. She's doing such an amazing job. So go check her out if you want to support another budgeting YouTuber. But Mel was able to make a fairly large car payment. She was able to pay more than double of the minimum payment. And she said that she now only owes $7,600 on her car loan and she's trying to get it paid off. So again, go cheer her on so that you can see her accomplish that goal. Next, we have Haley who made an extra debt payment of $1,100. That's amazing, Haley. I hope you're making good progress on your debt payoff. It sounds like you are. That's a large debt payment and you should be really proud of that. Next, we have Ventures with V who paid off one of her federal student loans and said that she is now going to tackle building up her high yield savings account and work on investing now that that student loan was paid off. She does have some other student loans, but said they are lower interest. So she's going to prior, prioritize savings and investing right now, which is awesome. I had so many people this week making large debt payments, paying off debt, which is so cool to see. Thank you guys so much for sharing your transfers with me. It's so motivating to watch you guys crush your financial goals. And thank you to all of you guys who are watching. I know this was a short video today. I Again, I'm not feeling very well. If you watched my last video, I explained that a little bit more but I'm still not feeling my best. I'm a little bit sick, so if my voice sounds weird, that is why. Um, so I tried to kind of make this a short video today, but I really appreciate you guys who are watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.